Hey everybody, welcome to Origin. Sorry it's been a while since we've actually posted the video. This one's not really a planned one or massively produced. We're just basically catching you up on what's going on. So as you can see, I'm in Origin and the place is completely empty. Everyone's either outside or working and we've got no visitors today because we've had a disaster with our water supply. Um, so we get our water from a, a well pump um, and it's filled. So we came in this morning, ready to open, really excited about today, meeting everybody, and it's just not working. Uh, we really can't believe it. So we've spent days baking, harvesting, prepping food for our, oh, it's all the stuff that's going on the menu today. We've kind of bought in loads of coffees and hot chocolates and oh, like, Everything's here ready to roll and we open once or twice a month and this is how we fund and um, what we're doing at Origin So a day like today is a real disaster, but our team keeps going and I thought I'd show you what they're all up to outside um, So let's go and see uh, what everyone's doing and I'll tell you a little bit about the farm box project that some of you might not um, Know what we do in that kind of way and um, so when we started um, Origin what five years ago now, I suppose um, one of the things we wanted to do as a team, as a cooperative, was try and figure out a way that we weren't just growing food for ourselves, but that we were able to make a difference to people around us um, and to people who didn't have access to three acres of land to grow anything on, or maybe don't know how to grow anything. So we decided that whatever we would grow, we would then take all the extra um, and we would set aside some space to grow for others. And around that time we met up um, with some friends from Belfast um, who were delivering kind of like supermarket food um, to refugees and asylum seekers all across Belfast. And we just kind of like started talking to them, what would it look like for us to grow and scale up what we're doing here to be able to feed as many families um, in Belfast, your refugees and asylum seekers who need food and um, with fresh, really, really, really good um, stuff. So we started that, so we're about a year and a half into that and like we're scaling up and it takes a while to clear the land and get um, going and just get, get ramped up um, to doing big quantities. But we're at the moment today um, harvesting and um, looking to feed 11 families, send 11 boxes down. And that's awesome. Um, and like we fund all of this through opening um, on the Saturday. So today, like today are a big hit. Um, so we got people on site doing lots of different things, not just growing uh, vegetables, but <coughs> growing flowers. Um, and Vicky and Megan are actually right in the polytunnel at the moment. Hey guys. Hi. I don't know if we can actually see the flowers in this. There we go. I'll stand out the way. No, you're all right. You stay in it. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. How are you all feeling after our closure? Sad. Yeah. But we're about to go and deliver these lovely posies to BTS in Korea, if you're about. Yeah, BTS. I BTS jumped in after hearing our Instagram mm -hmm. post, Megan, yeah. you Instagram, and so they jumped in and I've offered to sell some of the posies. Amazing. To yeah. cut out some of the loss we're making today. Yeah, and you can all donate too on our website. Um, just go to originspace.org. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Forward or slash. Forward slash. Gibbs. Gibbs. So you can donate and help us just expand. <laughs> These guys are working away, getting all the stuff, heading down to BTS, so you can go there and get them. Okay, so we grabbed the camera off again. We're now in the car, me and Vicky, and we're just on our way to BTS in Korean to drop off some posies. So when things go wrong, we get innovative in some way, because that's what actually funds all these projects that we do. And um, the support for the refugees comes from money we make in our coffee bar. So if our coffee bar can be opened, um, we don't have a way of making that money. Um, so it's a bit of a disaster really, um, so we have to be creative. Um, we got some other people out in the field. We'll have to turn away some of our volunteers today. Uh, because without the running water and all on site, it's really hard for people to wash up and stuff. But we didn't want to let um, the families down in Belfast, so these guys are harvesting away. So not only like our pile of people that are part of our cooperative getting fed, like throughout the year, we are able to feed 
potentially 11 families um, with fresh vegetables um, from the fields here at Origin. How are the potatoes looking? Yeah. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so the work keeps going. Um, and as Megan said, if you want to support us, you can join the team, join our co You get food for yourself as we grow together. You get to give away some of that food to others that need it. And it's just awesome to be part of a, a team of people doing something like this, working on sustainability. We care for the environment, we care for animals. It's just, I love being part of this. Um, so if you're interested, come and join us. But also, as Megan said, donate to us. If you're somebody that would like to back us and see us expand, be able to help more families, see more people get involved, then come chat to us or you can give through our website. It is massively appreciated. It helps us do everything that we do and we couldn't do it without people coming and drinking coffees and supporting us. So, so sorry if you were going to come down today. But we're going to be back in a couple of weeks time we got posy workshop on next week we got enneagram workshops coming up we got painting workshops coming up what else we got coming up oh there's loads of stuff check out our website and look forward to seeing you all back down here again soon see ya